Go on, you're live. It's on there now? Yeah. yeah Bill from Powerscroft site. Bill from Powerscroft site. Nobody else, just you, Bill. Nobody else, just you, yeah? You've been real and arguing whatever you're doing, you know what you're doing. Last night you come here, your dad's 50 cent year old man had strokes, done what he'd done to his mouth, yeah? Now, a couple of months ago, you done what he'd done to my Uncle Johnny. I rang you last time to come out and fight. You was making excuses, you're drunk, you're this, you're taking cabbage, don't know what you're doing. This come out right. now, now, have a fair fight, bruv. Have a bitch bash, I'm going to be a fight man, yeah? I ain't no fight man, am I? You're the fight man. Come out and have a fight. Simple as that, come out. Today. That's it. Come out today. Go on, you're live. It's on there now? Yeah. yeah keep going. Bill from Powerscroft site. Bill's on the Powerscroft site. Nobody else, just you, Bill. Nobody else, just you, yeah? You've been real and arguing whatever you're doing, you know what you're doing. Last night you come here, your dad's 50 cent year old man had strokes, done what he'd done to his mouth, yeah? Now, a couple of months ago, you done what he'd done to my Uncle Johnny. I rang you last time to come out and fight. You was making excuses, you're drunk, you're this, you're taking cabbage, don't know what you're doing. This come out now, now, have a fair fight, bruv. Have a bitch bash, I'm going to be a fight man, yeah? I ain't no fight man, am I? You're the fight man. Come out and have a fight. Simple as that, come out. Today. That's it. Come out today. What's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. Wow! It's all kicking off right now. Now this right here is a proprietary video. Your man the YB is leaking, no doubt. One of his bare knuckle dons, one of his bare knuckle insider dons reached out to me and said, listen YB, it's all kicking off right now in the bare knuckle community. Yeah, your man Billy Ho is essentially suffering from PTSD and therefore he's been off the drink, he's been off the tablets, yeah? He's been heavy off the pills, all the different ones. He's been wilding out, essentially, taking out his frustrations, taking out his anger on other, as we now know, older and relatively defenseless people. You understand? What we know is, Billy Ho, yeah, he couldn't do nothing to Canelo Alvarez. He got turned out, you understand? So now, he's resorted to the people he can win against. 50-year-old men who've had a stroke. People's granddads who've had a stroke. That's who your man's Billy Ho wants to turn up on. Because what we know is, Bill, you ain't tur you didn't turn up. Where was all the turning up? Where was all the off the drink? Where was all the off the pills when you was in there with Alvarez? That's when you needed to be giving it large. Not with someone's pops who's had a stroke. You filth. Yeah? Bill, you are the filth. No doubt. Anyway, before I carry on roasting this goofy, let me give you man the backstory. Like I said, one of my bare knuckle dons reached out to me and said, listen YB, you must speak on this because Billy is taking liberties within the community. And I told you man this a, a few months ago. In fact, yeah, a few months ago when this whole Billy Ho and Lyson Fury stuff kicked off, I said, listen, the Fury family, yeah, and the Billy Ho family, they're not real bare knuckle dons. They're not. They're not real. They're fakes. They have assimilated the bare knuckle culture for their gain. Do you understand that? That's what they've done. It's a bit like everyone does it. Well, not everyone, sorry. There's always certain people who assimilate themselves to certain groups. There was a woman, for example, who I think she was, it turns out she was from one culture. And she assimilated another culture for her financial benefit. Do you understand? That's all it is. Lyson Fury and Billy Ho Saunders, yes, they may have some, yes, his 16th cousin on his mum's side may have had a drop of whatever, if that makes sense. But that's as far as it goes, you understand? The Fury family and the Billy Ho family, their 16th cousin may have once had a bare knuckle fight. That's, that's it, do you understand? Let me tell you one more time. Their 16th cousin on their mum's side may have had one fight at school with knuckles. And they've run with that, do you understand? They've run with it. I don't know about you, man, yeah, but I wasn't someone, I'm not going to make out, I was scrapping all the time at school, but I've had at least one fight, and guess what? It was bare knuckle. <laughs> so what am I, what, you understand? And that's what I'm telling you. That's what happened. Billy Ho Saunders, his 16th cousin on his mum's side, had a bare knuckle fight at school, and ever since then, they've run with it. Oh, you're bare knuckle, who want you? Oh, I'll fight you now. You're not Billy, you're not bare knuckle. And that's what, it's, it's interesting. I'll tell you man this, I told you, they're not real people. They're not the genuine ones. They're the fake ones. Billy Ho and his man's Tyson Scary, Tyson Fury, they are fake bare knuckles. They ain't the real ones. And you're finding that out now. Oops, I tried to tell you. The real ones, and I'm not saying everyone's perfect. Every race has, or every type of people, every culture has wrong ones in them. Yeah? 
That's a fact. So when, I'm, when I say these things, I'm not trying to make out every single bare knuckle person is honourable. But in the main, like, like most people, every group of people in the main are honourable. No doubt. But guess what? Your man's Billy Ho, number one. He ain't, bare, he ain't a true bare knuckle warrior anyway. That's for the first thing. The second thing is, whatever culture he is genuinely from, he's a wrong one. Do you understand? He's not even good at being a fake one. Some people, yeah, they take a culture and they want to join it because they feel attracted to it in a good way. Do you understand? That's positive. Billy ain't bringing nothing positive to it. All he brings, he's, you've seen his antics over the years. All he does is drag, drag down the bare knuckle culture. And you're seeing it now. What's this going around? Whooping on people's old dads. And then, when they call you out looking for smoke, you're nowhere to be found talking about, oh, I was drunk and, oh, I was off the pills and, oh, give me a break. My man's on there making videos saying, oh, I was looking for you last month and now I'm looking for you again. Can't find you. Oops, where are you at, Bill? I thought you was Big Bear Knuckle. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. These guys, Billy Ho ain't real. It's all fake for TV. It's all IFL TV and whatnot. None of it's real. If it was, my man, his op, wouldn't need to be calling him out. Billy Ho would have got the squabbles already. Billy Ho, yeah, is exactly what I tell you is. He's a ho. That's why I call him. I'm not what I call him. That's why his name is Billy Ho. Who do you know punches someone's old dad up who's had a stroke and then... Goes running when someone who's their own age wants to smoke. Crying about making excuses. Your man Billy, all he's ever been is a fake bare knuckle dude. He, he's like Tyson Fury, never had a bare knuckle fight. Like John Fury, never had a bare knuckle fight. Just talking for the TV. That's all it's about. All it's about is making money. The Fury felt, the Furies and the, and the Billy Hoes, they jumped on it. They thought, ooh, there's a, there's a gap in the market. Yeah, I'm a bare knuckle warrior. If, there's not one person in the Fury family ever had a bare knuckle fight, ever. And if you, if you call me a liar, show me, show me the proof. Oops. Because like I said before, I've seen, we've all seen videos of the real families getting it on. Never seen no, f oh, 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 someone said, oh, the reason Tyson Fury is so good is because his, his mum and his, his mum and his dad come from the, the, the strongest line of bare knuckle. Where the videos at then? Because... We've all seen the Joyce family and all the other different families get it on. Never seen a Fury do. Oops. Never seen a I've never seen a bear, Billy Ho. Oops. Where they at? So that's why. If you were wondering why Billy Ho ain't answering this dude, it's because he ain't. You wouldn't know what to do in a bare knuckle fight. I mean, he didn't know what to do in a fight against Alvarez with gloves on. <laughs> What's he gonna do bare knuckle? The re so to let you man know, the reason Billy Ho ain't gonna turn up to this man fight to this call out is because. He ain't going to fight no one without a cornerman. Why? Because he needs someone to pull him out. Do you understand? Billy Ho is never going to agree to do anything with anyone unless he's got someone there to drag him out. You best believe. The reason he couldn't fight my man on, on short notice is because he needs to fly Ben in. Oh, I'll fight you, but I need Ben there to help me. 100%. Ben will be there, and when, he get, when Billy Ho gets popped on the eye, he can look at Ben, and he can look s sorry for himself, and Ben going to drag him out. And then, and then Ben, and then you're going to see Ben on IFL TV saying, "Oh, uh, how, how can he possibly carry on? He got hit in his bad eye once." You, you lot are sick. You lot are sadistic, thinking Billy Ho could possibly carry on in a fight after talking the whole bag, bag of rubbish after you've been hit once. How could you? How could Billy Ho possibly carry on after being hit once in a fight? You lot, are, you, Mark Tibbs, you're sick for expecting a boxer who's been talking for ten years about how hard he is to carry on after being hit once. Mark, you should lose your license for expecting a big mouth boxer to carry on fighting after being hit once. That's what that's what Ben that's what Ben and Billy need be doing. I'm sorry, that's why um, Billy Billy Ho needs Ben to drag him out. It's a bit like Conor McTapper. Here's another one. He gives it the whole ah, oh, we do it for the whatevers, and then next thing you know, he's 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 whooping up he's whooping on some old man. They're all the same. These people, simple as that. They assimilate a culture because real Irish people. M McTapper ain't Irish, I'm sorry, he ain't. They're disgusted with M McTapper. Who do? D these people, they assimilate a culture and they ride the life out of it. McTapper, he clocked on early. You know what, this has got some good markets in here. Let me jump on this bandwagon. And he rode the legs off it and then it came out he's a fake. 
all fake, all talk, all for the TV. Same as Billy Ho. Billy Ho and Tyson Fury did doing exactly the same stuff. 100%. I wouldn't even mind. Oh, honestly, yeah, I wouldn't mind, yeah. If Billy was doing these things, whooping on old people, yeah. And then standing up. Saying, you know what, yeah. Yeah, I whooped, yeah, I whooped your pops who had a stroke. Who wants some more? I'd respect that, wouldn't you? Because at least you can say, at least you can say, well, clearly he's just too, he's just too ferocious. Clearly he's just too greasy. I can respect that. I still wouldn't. Me personally, would I, would I go whooping fifty-year-old men who've had a stroke? No. But if you're that way inclined and you just like to throw hands with everyone, if everyone can get it, fair enough. But don't whoop on some old man who's had a stroke, and then when the youngers come looking to answer it, as they should do, as Billy Ho and Tyson Fury didn't do when Tom Saunders was getting moshed. Yeah? And this shows you, again, don't tell me that Lyson Fury, and don't tell me that the Fury family and the Billy Ho family are real. Because what we know is, when Tom Saunders was getting moshed, not one of them stepped up and said, you know what, I'm not having that. But what do we know? My man here in this video, I don't know his name, but whoever it is calling Billy Ho out, he's stepping up for his pops or for his people. Saying, no, it's not acceptable. We're not going to have our elders getting moshed. We want your bad. That's what real people do. Billy ain't real. Furious ain't real. They stood there shook. Oh, Tommy Fury and Tyson stood there. Had no go in them. Their little spindly legs couldn't move. They was, they was, what was the word? They was, it was frozen solid with fear. All that cortisol and adrenaline just met sniffing their knees up. Yeah, 100%. Call me a liar. Call me a liar. Show me the video of them jumping getting stuck in. Oops, it don't exist. Huh? How about that? And like I was saying, this Don here, this honourable Don, tell him Billy, Billy, I want you badly. What was Billy's response after whooping on his 50-year-old dad and some other old dude? Billy's making excuses, trying to find a way out. Oh, um, we, we all know them ones. It's a bit like the, the, one, the woman or the man who gets caught cheating. Oh, I was drunk. Oh, I was off the pills. Same as this. Oh, oh, I whooped on your old dad who had a stroke, but you know, I was off the pills and I was whatever. But isn't it interesting, Billy? You ever, it's just it's the thing, yeah? I always love about these individuals. I can prove to you that these individuals always know what they're doing. Yeah, always know. Because guess what we don't see? We never see Conor McTapper. You never see him sitting there trying to whoop on some big seven foot dude, do you? He never just gets the you know, he never just gets the impulse to be doing that. No, he don't. His twenty security man step in. But there was no security there to step in when he was whooping on an old man. Where was all your security at then? Because you best believe if there was some able body seven foot dude, Con Conor McTapper would have been saved, pulled dragged out of there, hundred percent. But all of McTapper's goofy team sat there and watched him whoop on an old man. Which sums up it sums up the people who hang around McTapper, a bunch of bums. And same with Billy Ho. Same people who hang around him. You watch Billy Ho get murked on for me, yeah. If I had a dude in my team, yeah, who liked whooping on old people. After. Cause fair enough, I told you one before, fair enough, yeah. If 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 there was someone in my team, yeah, who liked whooping on old people, but he was just greasy. He whooped on everyone. I'd struggle. <laughs> what could I say? You know what I'm saying? Listen, I've seen my man squabbling with three different dons before at once. So who, who am I to say that he can't whoop on some old don if he feels like it? You understand what I'm trying to say? But Billy, Billy, we just watch you go in one on one with a man who you was a foot taller against. You was a foot taller than Billy uh, than Alvarez. We watch you go in there. And you had no balls. You had no smoke. You had no bitterness towards Alvarez. You were submissive. He subbed you. Yeah? Turned you into a good old bottom. You understand? Billy, you're a bottom. You don't get it. That's what you don't need him to get. You, Alvarez made a bottom out of you. You got subbed. 100%. You're a submissive. That's what you are. If you disagree, show me, the, show me where you did something back. Show me when Alvarez had you pinned down. Uh, show me when Alvarez ha had your chops in the pillow 
yeah? Your chops are slobbering all over the pillow and he's pushing your head into it and pulling on your hair. 100%. Where was you fighting back? Where was the fight back? Because we'll tell you where the fight weren't back. The fight weren't back when you was in the corner, oh, feeling sorry for yourself, all, all solemn looking at us. Proper solemn. For years I always wondered, what does the word solemn mean? Look at your man's bloody hoe in the end of that night, oh, eighth round, whatever round it was. He was hella solemn. No emotion. Broken. Subbed. Yeah? Alvarez made a submissive out of you. No doubt. 100% confirmed. That's what he did do. So like I was saying, fair enough. If there's that, if you've got a guy, yeah, who's just a goer. If you've got a guy in your team who's just a goer, he loves to go. Whoever it is, big or tall, old or young, that is what it is. I'm not going to back it, but I can, what can I say, people? He, he, like, he just likes to get it on. But when you've seen your mans go in there with someone his own size and get turned out, I'm sorry, that can't work, Billy. If, I was, if Billy was in my team, he'd get slapped. What are you doing? Why are you picking on old people, but you couldn't pick on Alvarez? Why are you picking on old people, but you folded when you was in there with someone your own size? Fix up. That's what you call a B-U-L-L-Y. 100%. Same as McTapper. McTapper, you show me some videos of McTapper getting it on with someone his own size. You don't see it. He don't want none. He's scary. He's nervous. That's what these individuals are. That's why they always end up, it's not a coincidence, they always end up fighting old people with strokes. Because they're nervous. If I saw Billy, he wouldn't know what to do. It, it, you know, I swear to God, Billy would look like he saw a ghost. And if you disagree, show me some videos of, I mean, look at Billy Ho's career. All of the controversial things he's done have been with vulnerable people. Drug addicts, all, all sorts, that's who he is. He feels comfortable there, why? Because he's vulnerable too. He's a victim. Alvarez made a victim out of Billy. Billy got me too'd in there, 100%. No doubt. Told you before, Netflix are working on a Me Too documentary starring Billy Ho Saunders. Yeah, they're going to chronicle the abuses he got in there. Because you best believe, Alvarez is now compared to those like the Weinsteins and all them, the, the Cosbys, all them man there. Yeah, Alvarez is a pr prolific abuser. <laughs> no doubt. 100% confirmed. So we can't, in a way, we have to... I know, yeah, it's not nice to hear about Billy whooping on some old dude, but in a way, I feel sorry for Billy. Because he went through it. He was down bad. He was abused. The abused, bu abused. Do you understand? That's, that's that cycle, that vicious cycle. Billy got turned out on that international TV. Billy got made the star of Brokeback Mountain 2 on international TV in front of his kids. So it's no surprise he comes back after getting... After, it's no surprise after the whole world watches... Canelo Alvarez hang at the back of Billy Ho Saunders. Now he's going to be mad. Because wouldn't you be mad? I don't know about you yet, but if there was a video of me having some next redhead on riding the legs off me and for the whole world to see, I'll be probably trying to whoop on some old man too. Because he has to think about it. It's a, it's a psychological psychological condition Billy Ho's dealing with right now. He's been abused. Yeah? He comes back. He has to try and get that ego back. He has to try and get that, what's the word, that pride back. Oh, where can I get the pride back? I'll tell you where I can't get the pride back. I can't go in there. I've seen all the videos the YB's been putting out, looking for work. I'll tell you what we're not going to do. What we're not going to do is hop in the YB's DMs and throw hands. Because what's going to happen is he's going to march forward with his elbows tucked in. And I'm going to end up getting whooped by a YouTuber. That's what we're not going to do. Instead, what I'll do is, I'll get some liquid courage down me, and pop some pills, and I'll go and find the most vulnerable dude, the oldest, most vulnerable dude, who's had a stroke, and is over 50 years old, and I'll stick it on him instead. That's what I'll do. And then, when his son demands a throwdown, I'm going to go missing, and be found nowhere, and make excuses about how I was off the drink, and off the pills. That's what I'm going to do, because I'm a scary looking ass. Your man Billy Ho couldn't even back the beef. He ain't even got the nuts to say, you know what, I did whoop on your dads. You can get some too. That, that, that for me would be the bare minimum. The bare minimum 
signs of a real man taking responsibility. Yeah, man, I whooped on your pops. Do you want some? I'm happy to whoop on you too. Not Billy. Billy only wants to get off on people where he's got the advantage. No doubt that old 50-year-old stroke victim dude had no idea. I mean, not being funny, if I saw a relatively famous person, the last thing I'll be thinking is, especially, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, an able body, I'm an able body individual, but imagine you're 55 years old, had a stroke, and you see a famous person. What's the last thing you're going to expect? It's a bit like the one with McTapper. That 60 year old dude sitting in the pub. You see a famous person. What's the last thing you're going to expect? A two piece. The last thing that dude who had a stroke was expecting. Was Billy Ho to start kicking off. Nonetheless Billy kicked off. And whooped on him. Twice it seemed as well. The other guy who was standing there next to the, uh, the Range Rover. He got whooped on as well. He looks about 55 year old plus. So it's not, it's not, it's not accidental here. And it, all this has happened in, in the last few months since Billy Ho has been victimised. So that, to in a way, again, I've explained it, but already, yes, we have to feel sorry to an extent for Billy Ho. He was victimised. He was abused. Hundred percent. We can't deny that. We've all seen the video. We've all seen the X-rated video. We've all seen the OnlyFans style video. Of what Alvarez did to Billy Ho. And yes one day Alvarez will have to answer. For the ungodly things that he did to Billy Ho. 100% there's no denying that. However. Just because you got turned out Billy. It doesn't mean. You have the right to go on. Abu trying to abuse others. That's not how you do it. Go and get help. Billy. It's no good picking out, uh, it's, it's, I'll tell you what Billy's like, Billy, yeah, he'll find the most vulnerable person in the pack and he'll think, you know what, I'm going to get drunk and I think I'm going to stick it on him. That's what Billy be doing. So, you think, what, you thought it was a coincidence every single time Billy gets caught in, a, in an altercation, it's with some old dude who's had a stroke. <laughs> That's not by chance. By chance would be, yep, yeah, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, sometimes it's old, some, no, Billy's always old, he picks the most, he, um, <laughs> from, what I've, from what I've heard, if Billy sees a new group of people, yeah, he'll go and speak to them all for about 10 minutes, find out about their life. Oh, have you got, have you got high blood pressure, have you? Okay, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. You got the gout in your foot? Okay, yeah. That's what he does, 100%. He works out, you, he talks about your medical history, comes back two hours later when his Timmy Timmy 2 turn up, and then sticks it on you. That's what he does, 100%. I spoke to some of the victims. The victims tell me, oh, Billy came across real nice. I couldn't believe a famous person was asking me about my health and asking me about my, my my medical history. I thought, wow, what a nice young man. Asking an old lad about how his health is. Next thing I know, he's sticking it all on me two hours later. When he's just come back from the pub. That's your man's Billy. That's what he'd be doing. Yeah, he's not impulsive. Impulsive would be, wow, I just stuck it on some seven foot dude because I, like, I felt like getting on it. That's impulsive. He ain't impulsive. Yeah. He's malicious. He's intentive. And ultimately, he's at bottom. Yeah? So anyway, end of the day, yeah? Listen, Billy. My man wants your bad. And let me tell you something right now. I want your bad too. That's the truth. And if you ever feel like getting in there with someone able-bodied who went out a stroke and who wants it, like I said before, the Twitter's in the bio. My di get, in my get in the DMs, because what ain't happened... Never once have any of your goofies hopped in the DMs. I keep hearing, oh, YB, the bare knuckles are coming for you. The bare knuckles ain't going to do nothing. That's what they're not going to do. What are they going to do? What, what are they going to do? Run to the corner and beg Ben for help. That's what they're going to do. Billy ain't going to do nothing. And if he was, guess what? He'd have been in DMs already. He ain't in no DMs. Stop telling me what they're going to do. Get in the DMs. Yeah? Never, oh, YB, you know what not, and what we, do, what we do know is not one time their man's hopped in the DMs. That's what they ain't done. And if they had, I'm sure they'd be able to expose me. Oh, look, I got in the YB's DMs. He don't want it. Try it. Let's run it. 100%. But like I told you before, earlier, your man's Billy. Maybe, yeah, maybe in 40 years' time, when I'm old and having a stroke, I'm no doubt his son will probably say, YB, oh, YB. 40 years ago, I want you now. That's what happened, 100%. I guarantee it. Assuming, assuming, yeah, my videos are still up. 
40 years from now, no doubt, Billy Ho's gobby son will be looking for some smoke. Oh, YB, you come up pops out 40 years ago and I see the video and look, you're old and washed now. You're old and all stroked up. Let's get it. Or, or better yet, I'll just be, <laughs> better yet, the YB be minding his business into, in his retirement, hopefully. And your man's Billy Ho's son will just probably stick it on me. When he's drunk, just, just come stick it all over the YB. But even then, to be fair. What we do know is, I'll just tuck up, but anyway, that's not, end of the day, Billy, you down bad, yeah, you're bottom, and you're a disgrace, you are, even though you ain't even bare knuckle, but wh wherever you are from, yeah, whatever, I'm trying to say, whatever, 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 whatever your background really is, you are a disgrace, that's what you are, yeah, you are the, you are, you are, you are the filth, any man that attacks someone who's old, for no reason, and you know it's for no reason. The fact that Billy Ho actually re kind of responded and said, oh, I was drunk. That's a typical excuse for, there is no excuse. I had no reason to attack him. And, I, and I'm trying to weasel out of it. You're a weasel. And even the man said, you're a weasel, Billy. You're a weasel who takes no responsibility. Who does that? Who whoops on an old person and then says, oh, I was drunk and I was... Who does that? Because you weren't, you weren't drunk when you was in there with Alvarez. You weren't trying to whoop on him, was you? Oops. Yeah, where was all the drunk? Where was all the pills when you was in there with Alvarez? Why weren't you whooping on him? Because you did. What we do know is you didn't have no. Listen, you, you didn't have no whoop on him. You didn't have no whoop on him. Where was it all? Where was all the whoop? Where was all this whoop that you had for fifty-year-old man in there with Alvarez? Didn't have none of it. So don't give me that about the drink. Because if you had a drink, you'd had a drink in there with Alvarez. You goofy. You're a bottom. And you're a sub. That's what we do know. 100%.